of uh, something uh, different, though. We're going to stick in the U.S. because uh, just in the last few minutes, uh, that press conference has wrapped up a little earlier on. Uh, this was uh, their meeting um, in front of the cameras, and they had private meetings as well after that, talking about economic ties, support for Ukraine, uh, and artificial intelligence, as uh, we mentioned. That's what we will be uh, talking about. First, though, uh, let's hear from uh, the U.S. president. So, Mr. Prime Minister, thank you for making the journey to Washington. Early this week, we marked the 79th anniversary of D-Day and a timely reminder of the proud history of our nation's share and the values, the values that we have long stood to, together to defend. That's the unshakable foundation of this special relationship, and it is a special relationship. There's no country closer to us than Great Britain. Today, as NATO allies, partners in innovation, as friends in a shared vision of the future. And the two nations, our two nations, are ready to meet the challenges of our time and meet them together. And uh, let's hear a little bit of what uh, Mr Sunak had to say too. Today we have agreed the Atlantic Declaration, a new economic partnership for a new age of a kind that has never been... Rishi Sunak's White House friendly cannot disguise the detail that Brexit Britain is a disappearing control. Rishi Sunak lands in Washington with no actual influence in Europe and consequently no tangible power with Joe Biden. The Americans appreciate how to make a PM feel exceptional. It is not so hard to say, you are special or words to that conclusion, typically does the honors. It aids to profess it in the White House, inside range of the British media companies. Westminster politicians and Downing Street assistants, most of whom are unbelievably infatuated with U.S. politics, love a Washington conference for the same motive that Harry Potter fanatics filed to pay a visit the Warner Brothers studio in Watford. Standing on the stage where the wonders transpire is its own compensation. That makes Rishi a discounted date for Joe Biden at this week's meeting. The United States president can confer the customary ambassadorial considerations while yielding zilch of tactical element. Downing Street then expresses welcoming journalism that the two men connected over baseball or some other mutual social interest, or that their spouses did. The prime minister jets back home with glossy accolades as the commander-in-chief of a very significant nation undeniably. So take away a lot of encouragement from the idea that... Uh that the US administration is buying into this sort of economic cooperation, even if they can't have a sort of full free trade agreement, that there are going to be some areas where uh, the US believes it is important to cooperate. Rare earth minerals were mentioned. They often sound a bit sort of, um, sort of down in the weeds, but these are like 17 parts of, 17 elements of the periodic table that are, that are absolutely crucial in sort of future technologies. And, at the moment, China controls a lot of the mines uh, where those materials come from. And clearly, people in the, in the US and Europe and the UK want to make sure they can secure uh, the supply. Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.